Hello everyone. How are you all? Hope so. You all are fine. I myself Hina Sheikh welcomes you today in this video session. Children, wash your hands frequently including every time you enter the home. After shaking hands with other people, after you cough or sneeze, before you eat, using any soap and water or an alcohol-based hand rub. Our today's topic is poem and the name of the poem is Rain in the Night. This poem is from your Balbharti textbook, Standard 4, Unit 1, Rain in the Night. Before beginning with the poem, students, please answer my questions. Question number 1. What are the different types of seasons in India? Basically, we have four main seasons that is winter occurring from december to february summer or pre monsoon season lasting from march to may monsoon or rainy season lasting from june to september post monsoon or autumn season lasting from october to november Question number two, which is your favorite season? But among all these seasons, definitely rainy season will be your favorite season. Am I right children? Yes, and there are several reasons to it. Because the rainy season comes after the summer season. So, this season brings relief not only to us but to the burning earth scrotched in the summer heat. The temperature remains pleasant during the season. All the living things enjoy the rainy season by getting wet into the rain water. I know kids that you all enjoy yourself completely by running down the rain and there is no fun that can compete with the fun of getting wet in the rain. So students, today we are going to learn a poem based on your favorite season. The name of the poem is Rain in the Night. But firstly, we should know who has written this poem. As you can see, the name of the poet of the poem Rain in the Night is Amelia Josephine Burr. Firstly, we will recite the poem. I will read and then children, you all repeat after me. So let's start. Raining, raining all night long. Come on class, repeat after me. Raining, raining all night long. Very good. Sometimes loud, sometimes soft. Just like a song. Sometimes loud, sometimes soft. Just like a song. There will be rivers in the gutters and lakes along the street. There will be rivers in the gutters and lakes along the street. It will make our lazy kitty wash his little dirty feet. 
it will make our lazy kitty wash his little dirty feet the roses will wear diamonds like kings and queens at court the roses will wear diamonds like kings and queens at court but the pencils all get muddy because they are so short but the pencils all get muddy because they are so short i will sail my boat tomorrow in wonderful new places i will sail my boat tomorrow in wonderful new places but first i will take my watering pot and wash the pencils faces but first i will take my watering pot and wash the pencils faces beginning with the explanation of the first stanza raining raining all night long sometimes loud sometimes soft just like a song it has been raining throughout the night sometimes the rain has been loud that means having very huge sound and sometimes soft means sometimes it is raining slowly and this sound of loud and soft is just like a song i read the first stanza again raining raining all night long sometimes loud sometimes soft just like a song hoping children you all are clear with the first stanza now i read the second stanza there will be rivers in the gutters and lakes along the street it will make our lazy kitty wash his little dirty feet the poet says that the gutters gutters means channels at the edge of a street that carry off water so the poet says that the gutters will be like rivers and there will be lakes besides the road and why it will be like this yes because it's raining heavily the rising water will make their lazy kitty kitty means small cat and we all know that the cats are, are a lazy animals so what happens the rising water will make their lazy kitty wash his little dirty feet i repeat the second stanza again there will be rivers in the gutters and lakes along the street it will make our lazy kitty wash his little dirty feet now reading the third stanza the roses will wear diamonds like kings and queens at court but the pencils all get muddy because they are so short the drops of the rain water on the roses will shine like the diamonds worn by kings and queens at court means here the poet is comparing the droplets of the rain water on the roses with the diamonds which are been worn by kings and queens at court however 
द पेंसिल्स पेंसिल्स मीन्स स्मॉल प्लांट्स और देयर फ्लावर विच आर यूजली सीन नियर द स्ट्रीट्स और नियर द रोड साइड एरिया सो हाव एवर द पेंसिल्स विल गेट मडी बिकॉज दे आर शॉर्ट प्लांट्स दे विल बी फुल्ली कवर्ड विथ मड बिकॉज दे आर वेरी शॉर्ट I repeat the third stanza the roses will wear diamonds like kings and queens at court but the pencils all get muddy because they are so short hoping children you understood the third stanza now moving to the last stanza reading it out i will sail my boat tomorrow in wonderful new places but first i will take my watering pot and wash the pencils faces the poet wishes to sail her boat the next day in new and wonderful places that means the poet is making its own planning to sail the paper boat the very next day because the places will be covered with water due to heavy rain but before that she wants to take her watering pot and wash the faces of the pencils as they all are muddy i repeat the last stanza again I will sail my boat tomorrow in wonderful new places but first I will take my watering pot and wash the pencils faces So children this is your first poem from Balbharati textbook unit 1 rain in the night hope so you must have understood the poem children as you all are at home having plenty of time so i am giving you some homework based on this poem rain in the night hoping that you all will solve the homework so let's begin with the assignment Let's begin with the homework. Question number one: Give meanings. That is, number one is gutters, number two is kitty, number three is pencils. So, children, here you need to give me the give meanings for these three words. Let's read the next question. Answer the following questions. Number 1. How long has it been raining? Number 2. What is the child planning to do the next day? Let's see the last question children. This is an activity or you can call it as a project. So what is that? In your scrape book draw pictures of animals, plants, vegetables and fruits you see in your surroundings during monsoon or rainy season. so what you need to do children you need to take your scrape book or any kind of a4 size paper if you are having and you need to draw picture color it up what pictures you need to draw you need to draw the pictures of animals plants vegetables fruits you see in your surrounding during monsoon that is rainy season for example 
you can see frogs earthworms etc around you during the monsoon season now in the rainy season is the season for corns groundnuts etc you may discuss this with your parents or with your friends and solve it up so this was the end of today's video session hoping students that you must have liked and understood the poem attempt the homework see you soon till then stay safe stay at home bye children